Discontent may have scenes of violence, butchering of mutated creatures, and dragons. Viewer discussion is advised. Hello stalkers and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will show you one of the best weapon packs that has been ever made for Stalker Anomaly. This weapon pack has been on the top 10 most downloaded mods on ModDB site. So you know that it is one of the best weapon packs there is. This weapon pack is called Boomsticks and Sharpsticks. It is also known as BAS for short. BS has a ton of new weapons that you can add to Stalker Anomaly, from snipers, to machine guns, to assault rifles, and even submachine guns, pistols, and even shotguns. BAS adds around 130 new weapons, including some melee weapons. BS also adds scopes, silencers, and tactical kits. These weapons are all lore friendly, even if some of them are based on Tarkov, but they really suit the game. The weapons have their own sound effects and also they have custom unique animations. If for example you find a regular AK, your stalker will play normal animations with that weapon. But on the other hand, if you find a tactical AK, then your stalker will play a more tactical style animation, which makes sense. BS is not made by one modder, but it's actually made by a talented team of modders. And some of them have been making mods since the days of Stalker Call of Chernobyl. So you know that these guys are professional at this. The mod itself is about 2.8 GB big, but once you extract it and install it on your mod list, it will take around 10 GB of space. That is because most of these weapons use 2K and 4K textures, and it has very high quality models as well. The sounds of the weapons are not that great in my opinion. They are on par with the vanilla weapon sounds, but I will show you a way to fix that later on. Now let me show you some of the best features BS has that makes it unique from any other weapon pack. First of all, if a weapon has a tactical laser sight of any kind, you can activate it by holding the key L for a few seconds. You will hear a click sound and you will see the laser sight on your screen. You might think that this is some sort of a gimmick, but it's not. This thing is so useful for nighttime engagements, especially if you're using a night vision, and it helps you aim better in those close quarter battles. Another great feature is the dual sights and reticles that BS adds. Some weapons will have dual sights, one for close range engagements and the other one for long range engagements. You can also do this on some snipers where you can have a long range scope and a short range red dot on your weapon mount. Another amazing thing about BS is something called tactical kits, which you can either buy from a shop when you have enough high reputation with those traders, or you can find them on Death Stalkers. These tactical kits will upgrade the weapon look and allow you to have those special dual sights or even lasers. You can have a very simple weapon like this one, and you can drag and drop the weapon kit on it, which will instantly upgrade the weapon that you have. Just make sure to save before you do this, because you might not like how the weapon got upgraded, and once you upgraded this, you can't really remove it. This particular sniper has four different tactical kits that can be upgraded with. You have some tactical kits which will change the battle size and length. Some other tactical kits will make the sniper lighter for example or give it a much more long range scope. Most of the time you have to read what the tactical kit will add or change your weapon. These tactical kits can be found mostly to the north. Making friends with the mercs can really help you buy many of these tactical kits from their shop. But you can also find them in stashes or on monolith, so keep an eye out for them. Well stalkers, we are halfway through this video, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of uh, stalker anomal videos and guides, and I love testing new mods and show them to the stalker community.
BS also adds some civilian Russian weapons like this hunting rifle. And also the Soviet Western style AR-15. Some nice American tactical rifle like this M4 Butcher. And also some AK style American made rifles. Let's not forget about some famous European weapons like this AUG or this SA-58. As you can see, you got many different types of weapons, not just tactical ones. PS automatically distributes these weapons at the start of the game. That means you won't see a loner with some high-tech tactical weapon. You might see them use a regular AK or some old-school hunting rifle their grandpa had. On the other hand, factions like Monolith, Unisig or Mercs will use more high-tech tactical weapons. like a souped up Vitornes or a Saiga with a tactical kit. So going to the north is definitely an incentive if you're playing loner, so that you find better weapons. Now there's a lot of arguments when it comes to which is the best weapon pack, but in my genuine opinion, this is one of the best. First of all, it has been top 5 mod on ModDB for the past 2 years. That is no joke, and this mod is used by many other weapon packs that use it as a base for their weapon mods. Also, if you think about it, if a weapon pack is really famous and used by many other players, then it should have many other mods that support it, and BS is very much a supported mod by many other mods. For example, Loot Weapon Pack. So there are some drawbacks in my opinion with this weapon pack. First of all, it is huge. 10 GB is quite a large size for a mod. And yes, you might be looking at the download size right now and it says 2.8 GB but that is compressed. Once you install it, it will eat 10 GB of your drive. Another big problem is that the game doesn't handle all these textures and high quality models very well. Sometimes when you go to a shop and you open up the trader's menu, the game will freeze for a second or two. That is because it is loading all these guns in order for you to see them. Also, if a huge group of stalkers, especially in warfare mode, has some type of these high quality models, the game will stutter a little bit before all these weapons get loaded. So keep that in mind, especially if you're playing on a potato. I recommend you to have at least 16GB of RAM when you play with this mod. And a quad core CPU is a must, else you will suffer. A great way to address the vanilla style weapon sounds from BAS is to add something called JSRS or Dark Signal Weapon Pack. These weapon packs add um, great sounds that are compatible with BIS. I also like to use Mug Redux which is compatible with BIS. Making games complicated and harder to play is something that I really love so if you want a bit more realism with BIS make sure to also install Mug Redux. In order to have BIS correctly installed you need to have 1.52 patch for Anomaly first. And also nowadays you can also have DLTX because BS comes with its own custom EXEs. You can skip those now and use DLTX instead. I do have a special guide video on how to install DLTX so make sure to check that out at the end of this video. I will also upgrade my BS installation guide since we can use DLTX now. I hope you found this video useful, if you have any questions about BAS make sure to write them here below in the comments. I have a lot more content coming up for stalkers so make sure to subscribe and follow me on YouTube, bye and thank you for watching.